M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're just learning the YZX system and looking at the definitions here of what you see on the actual screen. We're at, we are connected to YZX using my FTM300 and SCU20 cable. Now I think everyone uses the SCU58 for Windows 11, but we're on Windows 10. So I'm just going to show you some definitions. So you've, you've got yourself connected, it's all up and running, and you're like, whoa. You know, what is everything in front of me? So let's look, go by the horse's mouth. Let's look at what Yesu ins Yesu's instructions say. We're just going to show you what is what. So the top window here is called the group window. And Yesu say that the group window here displays active nodes and rooms arranging the list based on the setting displays active nodes and rooms arranging the list based on the setting okay that's the group window for me what the group window is is if I select one of these active rooms down here these are active rooms yeah on the bottom section as it see it says room ID here if I right click one I can go to add bookmark list it puts it up here and so it's for me, it's like a shortcut list. And if I want to connect, I can right click it. I'm right clicking, say CQ UK here, right click and I can go connect. Okay, and then it, when a call starts, you get two new windows. This is one window showing everyone connected. And then I've got this window here, which shows my connection. I don't actually know what uh, hard copy means but yeah DTMF ID 27793 that's the number I recognize for CQ UK connection I click hard copy yeah nothing happens and I can close both these windows if I want or I can disconnect right click on the tab there click no you can add it to bookmark list which we've already done what we can do is reject but no to disconnect we can go Disconnect here. Just double check that I can't disconnect by right clicking. Right click. I'm already connected. So yeah, to disconnect you go connect, disconnect. Okay, well we're not connected to any room now. Next section down. So we know what the active room, these are active rooms at the bottom. Now we want active node window, which is these sections here. So these are different nodes. And let's see what it says on the list here active node window active wires x nodes are listed so if you've got a node and i'm guessing if you've got a hri 200 type box you have a node and looking down through here we've got different icons here the, the obvious one is d for digital and i would guess because i am learning this as i'm speaking a for analog so if i had an analog connection I'll click connect, error, connection, busy. It says busy, so that won't let me do it. Let's try another, find another A. Connect. Call started, so I'm in analog. And let's just see. No, it again, error. No answer from, call, from called PC. Let's try another one here. Connect. No, so... There's a reason for that, so probably to do with my setup. Now the wire one, the one with the little Wi-Fi, let's try that, connect. No, well, it says call start, then disconnect. So it could be that, because they are, no, I actually don't know, I'm not going to guess. So, all right, um, active room status bar. So the status bar at the bottom here just says, yeah, I've got ready. I've noticed if my if I'm not properly connected to wires X, this ready section goes to transceiver not connected. So it's basically telling you if you're connected. Let's go across here. Status indicators, which the top section here. So look, it's showing that I'm on, I'm, well, it says radio one. I've noticed that on the HRI box you've got radio 1 and radio 2, but I'm connected on the FTM 300 local on-air idle. And if I right-click here, 
on America Link and now let's keep it quiet. America Link's so busy. Go connect. So I'm now connected. It says I'm on air, and if I key the mic just for a test, M0 FXB test, you'll notice that at the top here it changed to lo from local to internet. So it showed that I was TXing up there. That's good. And here, on, along this box here, which is called the log window, this section here above this box, it's called the log window. It's pretty much telling you what you're doing. Let's just see what the log window says on there. Displays operating status information regarding the Wires X software operations. It's pretty much letting you know what to do. And I do think that this is definitely one to keep an eye on this one because I know if you have errors, any errors you have, they come up here and sometimes you get a code and you can Google the code, find out what's going wrong. So that's handy. Now chat window. So let's just move this box. These boxes are very mov movable, these connection boxes I call them. Here's a chat window so you can go hi, you know, hi. Send. Did I type that in the wrong place? Try again. H I send. Um, yeah, I can't see that sent if I typed it there. Let's type it here. Hi. No, it's not letting me type there. So that's history. So, yeah. It says hi. It looks like I, ha I think I've sent that already. And then we'll wait. If we get a reply, it will be further down. I didn't see it TX when I said hi. Do we need, to, does it show TX? Let's just do that again. Hi, and then we'll see if we see any changes when we click send. No, no I didn't see any obvious, but have we got two highs there now? Yes, we have. So, on the activity window, it's showing different nodes there connected. So it'd be funny if we get a high back. Group mode window, not done this. Transceiver. Oh, these are like a shortcut. That's pretty good. Because you know at the top here, you've got these file, view, connect, tools. Okay, plugin set. Plugin modules. Hmm. And so this is a, a section I've not really used before. Group monitor guide, transceiver, node operation. Let's just hit them anyway. Transceiver. Was sort of locked in digital. Now, if I push the AB button on the FTM 300, it does allow me then to use another radio on the frequency that's been set here, and you can change that frequency. I'm trying to work out with with my SCU 20 kit I've got with the two extra um, leads, microphone and um, speaker. How do I get this to go FM, or do I have to use a HR 200 box, HRI 200? So node operation. That's me. Okay, so room guests. Yeah, I have never done group mode on um, using the actual. I've done it using the radio. I've never done it using this sy this system. Why is X PDN? And you've got some grayed out sections there. Please perform setting. Please perform setting to perform GM operations by your GM room. Your room member is different from the access GM room node. Okay. There you are, so I'm not really sure how I even found that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's all interesting. Let's have a look what else we've got here. We've done function window, chat window, we know what that is, log window, user monitoring window, so that's me. Okay. So I think that's enough for this video. Setting the YSX node information. So what I'm going to keep looking for is to find out if I can get... I know that with the HRI 200 box, you can... Once you're in, you can select in the transceiver settings. You can select to use a FM analog, an FM transceiver. I know you can do that with a, a Wirezek, a HRI 200. But can I do it with a kit, SCU 20 kit? Because why have we got those extra cables? Um, for microphone and speaker which are in my PC at the moment. So 7.3, hope this sheds some light on 
what you're looking at when you see your YSX window on, you know, when the system's up and running. 7.3, all the best. Bye for now.